This method of printing is for those people who already share a printer amongst a few computers at home. So currently your printer must be already set up so that multiple printers can print directly to it. That is, you don't need to connect anything, but all the computers in your house can print directly to it regardless of whether it's connected into them or not. This is something that whoever set up your network would have done for you. If this is already done, then it's very easy for your MacBook to also join in and print directly to your printer. So, if we have a look at this document again, or we're going to print it, you'll notice there is no printer chosen. So let's have a look. Let's choose print again. Although it shows up the Lexmark, it is disconnected. What I need to do is add a new printer. So from the drop down menu, I can choose add a printer. Now this time I'm going to choose one from the Windows icon. So there's a Windows network. This is the name of my network. This is the computer with the printer attached to it. Now that Windows computer has asked me for the logout of that computer. This has nothing to do with a Mac. This is whoever set up your network would have given you permissions to allow these things. My network set up so that for printing, you do not need to log on. It will allow you to print as a guest. So I simply choose guest. Once again, check with whoever set up your network to find out how you need to configure it. Once that is done on my network here, I can click continue. It shows me the printer. When I chose that printer, this, it has the right printer. It must come down the bottom here. Well, firstly, I should rename it. So I'll end up with two printers with the same name. So I'll call this one my network Lexmark. So that way I know which printer I wish to print to. It's easy to identify. Then I better choose for drivers. In here, there's a whole list of all the hundreds of printers that I could choose. Type in Lexmark, choose the printer, and add it. Once I do that, press add. It will configure the printer for me. Ask me if the default settings are okay or if I have any special requirements. I'm going to the default settings. It is done. All I need to do now to print, make sure I've chosen the correct printer, the network printer. Remember, this only work if your network printing has been set up already on your network at home. Press print. 